I was sitting in a bookshop in Jerusalem one day when I was approached by a Christian lady who beckoned me to come and follow her to see this secret location on Mount Zion which contained the hidden remains of the first Christian church headed by none other than the Apostle James, the brother of Jesus. Well, I followed her and little was I prepared for the incredible journey that was about to begin. So we're going to the first church. The first believers in, in Yeshua, Jesus. So this is uh, the half-brother of Jesus, yes, James. James. Yes. He was the chief elder of this church. Of the Jerusalem congregation. Wow. Here. This, was, this church was underground. Yes, we call it the first church. But it was uh, under threat of persecution. You will see. To me, this is so inspiring, poignant, uh, awesome, thought-provoking. To see, see that where our church just came it, from. The, will the first church also be the last church? <laughs> the days here of the is. Book of Acts, isn't it? Is. This, this yes. building here. Well, this is a covering over the first church. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will beget he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. This is broken open so you can photograph through. You see, down there is an altar. There used to be two altars. They removed one. I don't know why. The steps are going down. I tell you what, I was extremely intrigued by what this lady was showing me here. Why was a 2,000-year-old structure lying pretty much desolate and trashed underneath a parking lot on Mount Zion? Why was such a significant-looking place closed off to the public? Could this really be the very first Christian church used by the apostles themselves? But do you know where that goes, that opening? Where? On the other side of the opening, there are mikvahs where they had baptisms. Huh. I, it, because I, I could go in there once. A member of the Greek Orthodox Church had a key and let me come down. That's a tunnel that leads. Yeah, it's an escape hatch. That's escape what they me. Wow. Yes. Due to the um, persecution. It is claimed that through this doorway is a tunnel that leads to an escape hatch giving us an example of how early Christians would plan to escape persecution from the brutality of Roman soldiers. 
they found pottery shards down there. And what was on the pottery shard? Do you know the, the drawings, let's say, of the of the menorah and the fish entwined? Yeah. They, they found right it, from the first you? church. Yes. And so it shows the Star of David then. It was deep beneath this catacomb that the first Judeo-Christian symbols would be uncovered. The menorah intertwined with the fishtail was discovered by a monk here in the 1960s. But we do have this, this symbol today that is a menorah, right? And then there's a Star of David and then there's a fish and people want to apply this to the Jewish believers. And what we do know is that the fish with a triangle tail um, and an anchor were symbols of the first Jewish believers. Thousands of us, by the way, this is a reminder, the multitudes came to Beatitudes. They came from Syria, Jordan. They came from Jerusalem, Samaria, Judea. The multitudes came. Just within the past six months, they find a cave in the middle of Israel, and they find a menorah that's got an exact perfect triangle base. But it just, I find it really uh, another coincidence, God in, in sequence, that when you have the, the base of the menorah and the tail of the fish, it creates the story of David, Yeshua, the Mashiach, must come from the line of David, and we attribute this story of David to David. I became driven to find out more about these early Christians and the truth of this ancient structure on Mount Zion. So I spent the next two weeks investigating this mystery, which led me to the office of the Greek Orthodox Patriarch. My request to go and investigate this private site was taken straight to the top official and approved. I, I'll, I'll open and I'll show you, okay? Thank you so much for this. It's uh, a real honor to see this place. My pleasure. The chains to the door were broken right before my very eyes. I was about to step into a time capsule to the days wow. of the apostles. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. So they used to do baptisms here? Yes. It's a mikveh. You know what it's a mikveh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were coming from here and they... The plaster, it's 2000. This one, you see? So that was the, the wall 2000 years ago. You see here? beautiful place and the, so the first Christians the, the Apostles would have been yeah, why, they, why they were uh, praying down because to hide from the to pray here in secret to hide from the Romans yes, yes. You see the it's really they try and desecrate these Christian sites you see all the time I'm cleaning but they are cleaning, so is it religious extremists that are doing this? Religious and it's... The, actually, I want to tell you, it's something, it's anti-Christ. That the reason, it's a... Uh, they just don't like uh, Christ, that Jesus was here and... Uh, yeah, they're anti-Christ. Do you think that they, they don't want people to know that Jesus was Jewish and he was the Messiah? They don't care about that. They said it's a... Uh, it can, it can be that he is God. Mm -hmm. They said it's for King David. If it's for King David, why you don't keep it clean? And respect the place. 
So you can, you can see the tensions rising between those who hate Christians and the persecution that is starting to happen in, in Israel. Yes, yes. very important place for, for the Christian. Deep inside this dark tunnel, we could see the ancient catacomb, which could have been used by the first Christians as a means to hide, and in the roof, complete with a hatch as a way to escape. What I find amazing is that this place is still attracting that same persecution of Jesus' first followers. This is just incredible. It's incredible evidence to see, um, you know, for people who don't believe in the Bible, you know, to show that these things were here 2,000 years ago. So they would hide in places like this from the Roman soldiers. People need to see this, you know, from the, the public. It'd be amazing. I told you, I, I hope it will be tourist and to, to be aware of the... The history. Yes. So this is the really the, uh, the official place of the birth of Christianity, where the Holy Spirit came to Jesus' followers. Yes. yes. This is one of the most significant, important places in the world. And uh, also the mother of Jesus, she was, uh, she was coming here. Like, it, it, it was a big thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So many people were baptized here, who believed in Jesus. Essentially, it is really the birthplace of the church after Jesus You could had say ascended. this was this was the assembly. They and his half know, brother say, James. Yes, they say this is the first, even the locals. You know, they call this the first church. Huh. It wasn't gold. It wasn't silver. No. It wasn't jewels. The first church was Jesus. Right. Amen. Jesus. Everything for him. Right. Amen. Cost what it would. Amen. Cost what it may. That was the first church. 